Welcome back to a new tweaking tools video, and today we're going after something that no one else is talking about yet. In 2025, new Windows NVMe drivers introduced deep APST substates, hidden micro-sleep power states below PS3 that SSDs can enter even during gaming. And every time your drive dips into these substates, you get micro lag, asset hitching, and frame pacing spikes that feel like small stutters but never show up as CPU or GPU drops. Today, we're disabling these hidden substates at the driver, firmware, registry, and power policy level using RegEdit, CMD, and a new 2025 NVMe behavior exposed in Windows 11 25H2. This episode is packed with stuff you've never seen before. Let's fix those SSD micro stutters. Step 1. Check APST status and substates. CMD. Before changing anything, you'll want to confirm what your SSD is actually doing under the current power management stack. Open command prompt, admin, and run. If your NVMe SSD appears in this list, it means it supports S0 idle, modern standby, and is using autonomous power state transitions, APST, along with its deeper, low power substates. These deeper states are where most of the new 2025 NVMe optimizations occur. Now examine the active APST policy applied by your current power plan. Scroll through the output and look specifically for the following keys. NVMe Advanced APST NVMe Device Idle 2 NVMe Device Substate there may be several entries. If these entries are present, it confirms that your system is running the new 2025 NVMe APST stack, which exposes additional idle behavior controls and deeper substate management to Windows. This is important because these policies directly determine how aggressively your drive transitions into low power modes. Step two. Disable hidden APST substates, RegEdit. In this step, we'll manually disable the deepest NVMe APST power states that often cause micro stutter, delayed wakeups, and inconsistent latency under the newer Windows 2025 storage policy. These states are normally hidden from the standard power plan controls, so RegEdit is the only way to override them. Open Run RegEdit, then navigate to If the device key isn't there, right-click and create it. Windows will read it on Next Reboot and apply any values inside as overrides for the Storn NVMe driver. Now add the following D word, 32-bit entries. Disable APST equals 1. Disable NVMe idle timer equals 1. Force PS0 equals 1. Here's what each one does. Disable APST fully disables autonomous power state transitions for this NVMe controller. Disable NVMe idle timer stops the firmware from pushing the drive into low power states after short idle periods. Force PS0 forces the controller to remain in PS0, the highest performance, lowest latency state. With these three values together, the drive behaves like a desktop performance NVMe device, keeping latency extremely consistent even during tiny I.O. bursts. Now add the new 2025 parameter, min active power state equals zero. This is the newest key introduced in the 2025 storage stack. It sets the minimum allowed NVMe power state, preventing the controller from entering PS2, PS3 deep substates that older drivers didn't even expose. These states are efficient, but can introduce 1 to 10 millisecond wake-up delays, depending on the controller and firmware. This combination ensures the SSD never dips into any deep APST level, eliminating micro-lag, 
at the cost of slightly higher idle power consumption. Step 3. Disable hidden APST tiers. Power Policy, CMD. To ensure consistent responsiveness, we completely disabled both general ASPM control and the L1 low power state. This forces the PCIe link, where your NVMe drive communicates, to stay in its highest performance mode at all times. The benefit is immediate, more stable latency, fewer micro pauses, and smoother overall I.O. behavior regardless of workload. Disable PCIe ASPM for your active power plant. Works on all hardware and all Windows builds. Open CMD Admin and run this. What these settings actually do. ASPM turns off Windows' ability to place the PCIe link in low power states. ASPM L1 specifically blocks the deeper L1 state, which is the most common source of latency spikes. These policies are always present, universally recognized, and override any OEM or driver-level power-saving behavior attached to the PCIe bus. Even if your NVMe firmware or Windows storage stack tries to reduce link power, these settings prevent it from happening. This is one of the simplest and most reliable latency stabilizing tweaks available for NVMe drives, and it works universally. No hidden GUIDs or OEM-specific policies required. Step 4. Stop Runtime D3 Cold and NVMe Link Power Management Windows 11 25H2 enables Runtime D3 Cold for many NVMe controllers by default as part of its deeper power reduction stack. D3 Cold is the lowest power PCIe device sleep state but for high-performance storage, it can create brief but noticeable latency spikes when the controller has to fully reinitialize after waking. To force the NVMe controller to reload without D3 cold, open PowerShell Admin and run what this does. Temporarily disables the NVMe storage controller, then immediately re-enables it. During reinitialization, Windows applies the current power policy but without re-enabling D3 cold if it has been implicitly disabled through the previous steps. Next, you'll disable PCIe ASPM for storage devices. ASPM, Active State Power Management, can downshift PCIe link width and reduce voltage lanes. Great for laptops, but not ideal for latency-sensitive workloads. Open Run, Regedit, and navigate to Add This Dward. 32-bit, attributes equals 2. This makes the hidden ASPM controls visible inside Windows Power Policy, so you can override them manually. Now run these commands in CMD. Setting ASPM Policy equals 0 forces ASPM off, which prevents the PCIe link from downclocking, reducing link width, entering L0S or L1, or applying dynamic lane power gating. The result is a stable, full bandwidth PCIe connection that avoids the momentary delays associated with rapid link state transitions, something that can manifest as micro stutters during gaming, real-time workloads, or latency-sensitive disk operations. And that's it. You just disabled the hidden NVMe APST microstates that cause tiny but noticeable micro lags, texture streaming hitches, small pauses when opening menus, delayed asset loads, random frame pacing spikes, input stickiness during disk access. Your drive now stays in full performance mode with stable timing, zero surprise substate transitions, and reduced I.O. latency. Thank you for watching.